Hello, Leo. Okay, so this is the bonus reading for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and leave a comment. This reading resonates for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. Please give clear message messages for the sign of Leo. What messages do you have for the sign of Leo? Please and thank you. energy is the four of wands so this is a commitment this is regarding a commitment for you guys this is something that's going to make you really happy the thing is is that there's someone from the past i'm getting this is there's definitely someone from the past I'm getting like this person like withdrew their energy from you. Tell me more about this hermit in reverse. Because here in the present moment, you have the ace of cups. So someone's about to offer their love to you. And this is going to make you very happy. Because this is going to like, it's going to be like overwhelming for you, but in a good way. And it's like coming in the future, it's a no brainer. Like this person knows what they want. Okay, so someone was in their head, stuck in their head in the past. and inconsistent so the fact that this yes okay so someone was in their head regarding this connection with you in the past they're not happy because their overall energy is the three of wands in reverse so they're not happy with the decision that they made so this person could have like went towards someone else as well in the past and they're not happy with uh, the person that they're currently with or the person that they decided to choose over you. So they're not happy, period, with the decision that they made here in the past. I'm really getting with the hermit in reverse. It's just that someone here in the past no longer wants to uh, withdraw their energy from you. Like they no longer want to be isolated from you. Like they feel isolated. I'm also getting like some of you guys they don't know like how to connect with you because like you're not on social media or you block this person like they don't know how to reach out to you because the hermit is also like the lighthouse as well so they're also like this guide and light so this person feels like they can't find their way to you but in the past, like what caused you to like fully shut this person out is because this person was in their head and their inconsistent behavior towards you. And then also possibly some of you guys, the person that you were dealing with, they chose other options over you and they're not happy with the options that they chose. Now, coming here in the present moment, you have the Ace of Cups. So someone wants to offer you their love and they have a whole lot of love to give. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. This is the person, the person that wants to offer you their love is the person that breadcrumbed you in the past. That's how you know, yep. The person that breadcrumbed you in the past wants to reconcile with you. They want to celebrate, have a good time with you, go out, have some drinks, enjoy your company. They want to offer you their love, but they want to do it like having a good time. They don't want it to be like something that's like serious and they want to make sure like this is, you know, a good time that the two of you have together. Possibly like 
some of you guys like if you have common friends they want you two to like meet up through they may get like friends involved where it's like you know invite leo out and act like you know they didn't know you were going to be there just so they can accidentally bump into you what is this two of swords Suicidal battle. It looks like it's a no brainer for you, Leo. Even though this person is like doing all that they can to win you back it doesn't look like you're still on pause mode with this person and it's it's like it's a no-brainer to you you don't trust this person's intentions on top of that you felt like this person had every opportunity in the book to win you back it's like they had every opportunity to like make this relationship work in the past and they just didn't do anything so and then some of you guys feel like this person is just trying to hook up with you it's like you just don't trust their intentions like you think like their love for you is just very superficial here it's, it's just no depth to it like they just look at you they want sex you know they're not wanting anything serious but you got the four of wands on your mind like you want like a soul you, a soul level type of connection here like you're trying to connect with a twin flame a soulmate you're not trying to mess with this superficial type of mess here but what is this what is this yeah because you're not trying to work on this anymore some of y'all feel like this person do too much you feel maybe some of y'all like you think they drink too much too You know, the Four of Wands, yeah. The Four of Wands is you realize the type of connection that you want. This is what you have on your mind. You definitely want like real love here. Like you're looking towards like a solid committed relationship here. And the relationships that you dealt with in the past have taught you some difficult lessons some difficult lessons here where you had to like really realize some things um about yourself and what you were attracting so you changed your energy here in order to attract the type of person that you desire to come towards you so that's why it's like with this person coming back towards you it's like a no-brainer. This isn't the type of energy that I'm attracting or I'm entertaining any uh, anymore here. Because you realize what you really want out of love. You want the four of wands type of energy. You want real love, not that superficial type of love. And that person is coming towards you. In the past you definitely dealt with a snake here someone that was very deceptive towards you okay because you're i'm definitely seeing okay so in the past it's talking about this snake energy that you dealt with here in the past and it's also warning you that this person is coming in like coming towards you raising hell here they're coming in to cause like some sort of chaos in your life because they see that your energy has switched up on them and you're doing well 
but here in the future you're single but someone has caught your eye and you're going to end up dating this person as I'm saying, some of you guys may meet this person like while you're out, but either way, there's someone that's going to end up catching your eye and you're going to end up having a good time with this person, getting to know this person a little bit better. Tell me more about this date. Tell me more about this date. definitely have unfinished oh my gosh okay tell me about this soulmate here because you have soulmate energy popping up So soulmate energy, magnetic attraction, and family. So it's saying someone that you're going to feel drawn towards and that you'll end up having a family with. But the issue here is when I'm asking to clarify this date that you're going on, the first thing that came out was liquid courage. And the reason why that's an issue is that the person from your past, it looked like you guys had an issue with this person drinking. Some of you guys did. And you also have unfinished business. So you could, some of y'all will end up at least hearing this person out. But I'm saying like, I'm definitely seeing like you releasing this person here. But it looks like you're going to end up hearing them out first. Yeah, because they're too toxic. What is this single? Who is? Tell me more about this single. Why? Okay. So, some of you guys, this is what it looks like is going to happen. Some of y'all will reconcile with this past person. And it's like when you reconcile with this person, you guys end up having a great time. You're happy, you know, but it doesn't look like it's lasting long because you realize quick, like you realize quickly like that the grass is greener and there is a new love. Yeah, because you're going to have an option. This is two different. And it looks like with this new love, this is the one that you're going to end up having a long-term relationship with. This is the one that you're going to feel magnetically drawn towards and you'll end up establishing a family with because this is your soulmate. But it looks like you're going to um, speak with this person because there's unfinished business here. Because... You're going from single to connecting with this ex-lover and then you're back in a relationship with them. You guys reconcile or you establish some sort of a relationship, but then you realize that you're better off without this person or you can do better than this person. 
and you move on towards your real love here. Because you'll be at a crossroads. Your outcome is wedding. So it's definitely a long-term relationship that's coming in for you here in the near future. I'm getting some of you guys. The thing is, it's like with your overall energy being pathway in reverse, some of you guys are like struggling. It's like, it's hard for you to see if whether you're on the right path or not, but it's like, you know, but it's, it's like you're struggling. You feel like it should be a little easier than the way things are. So that's why you're kind of wondering, like, am I on the right path? Why aren't, you know, things or why isn't this happening? And why isn't that happening then? Because I'm seeing here in the past, you set yourself free from something. And it was the right decision for you to make. But it doesn't mean that, like, you still weren't going to face obstacles and challenges. You're still going to face those because it's all a part, of, like, the growth. It's all a part of your growth here. you're about to meet someone here and it looks like the person that you're going to end up in a relationship with doesn't have children they either don't have children or they don't want children or one of you guys don't it's, I'm getting that this person doesn't have children You're about to receive a message from this person because they want to come talk to you. And the conversation that they want to have, they want to have it face to face because it's a very like intimate, serious uh, conversation that they want to have with you. Some of you guys definitely have two people. Because there's someone that you've looked at as the person that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. And then you're about to meet someone that is actually on your level. The person that you're actually meant to be with here. Because some of y'all are not. It's like you've been working really hard and still barely making ends meet here. But you're leveling up. Oh my gosh. This is insane. This is insane. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, I feel this. Woo! Woo! 
Whoa. You know, this is what's so crazy. Okay, because I'm going to tell you guys this message. By the time somebody finally works up the courage to reach out to you, the love that you have for this person is gone. Like you no longer see this person as a person that you want to be with. And the thing is, some of you guys, like by the time they're reaching out to you, you're already in a relationship and the lifestyle that you're living with this person is ridiculous. Like you guys like completely flip the script on this person. Like the lifestyle you're living with this new person is insane. The issue is, is that you guys literally had two soulmates. You matched that person's energy and you matched this new person's energy. But the thing is, is that you're more mature, you're more wiser now. So, oh my gosh. Like it's gonna hit this person so hard. And you did, you matched this person's energy like you two did. So that's why some of y'all see these readings and like it'll say like that person from the past, y'all matched each other's energy perfectly. Like you guys were the perfect counterparts. Cause you were. You guys literally have main male, main female, mature man and mature woman. So you literally match this person's energy. Now it's two storylines here, but I'm gonna tell you this one first. So, cause let's, this is, some of y'all don't have it where it's like, you literally watch these readings and y'all go all over the place. Like one minute you hearing a reader say this about a relationship and you don't have that spirit of discernment. So you taking it as your story and it's not your story. But since you don't have the spirit of discernment, you are absorbing all of this and you need to stop it. Because the person that you connected with in the past, yes, that was your person. You guys were soulmates and y'all matched each other's energy. This person did not boss up. Like they did not do what they were supposed to do in order to make this happen with you. They did not. So you leveled up and God prepares you for someone new that matches you where you are now. So yeah, by the time this person even reaches out is going to be a wrap. Now, some of you guys, no, I can't even say that because the way it literally played out, like I, I want to say that it's like the two of you maturing together, but the way it literally played out Some of you guys, like, you could mature together with this person. You'll know. But for, like, someone you know exactly because you have been all over the place listening to tarot readings and your person hasn't reached out, I promise you, when this new connection comes in, because you're leveling up and you know it, you know it, you're leveling up big time here. Like life is taking all for you. This person is, 
it's going to hit this person hard losing you because you were this person's better half like you were their true match but they did not do what they were supposed to do so god prepares you for someone else so there's another soulmate that you're being prepared for here because you guys have marriage as your outcome it's a divine union that you're about to step into. And some of you guys are going to know, like, some of you guys, like, you're going to know because this person won't have children. So they're being specific with that. just get at least the spiritual message for you guys. I like to at least out. Okay, so the overall energy is shift your perspective. There is a change in the wind. There's a change in your energy. And I'm getting because you guys are like the lights. There is, you definitely are connected to the divine here. And I'm getting it's like, you're very wise. And above all, you operate out of good intentions and you have a very healing and nurturing spirit. some information that is coming to you. I'm not quite sure what this information is, but it's going to help like guide you in the right direction. Because whatever it is, is bringing a change in your perspective. So regarding a relationship, some of you guys are just whatever there's some sort of like change that is about to take place and it's regarding because you have the oracle which is wait for important information and with medicine guardian be open to healing information so they're asking you to be open to the information that you're about to receive because it's it's coming through to bring healing and to guide you in the right direction yeah, because they're with um, with B lights here. I'm definitely getting like your guardians here. Your spirit guides are guiding you towards something better. But the information that you receive may be difficult for you to accept. So they're asking you to be open to it because there's definitely some information that is coming through for you guys that you're going to need to like be open to receive in order to guide you in the right direction because it's changing your perception regarding something in particular. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. As I split the deck, it said autumn. So some of you guys like these changes may take place like around autumn. And that's the thing, it's like, the time within our world is different within the spirit guys, the spiritual realm. It goes by so fast to them, like time is different to us versus, it is, versus to them. So, but anywho, I'm gonna leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys. 
Uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.